What's going on YouTube? Chiasna right here. So in today's video I have some good news for those of you waiting for an iOS 12 jailbreak and even for iOS 11.4.1. Somebody started working on such thing. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare and their software iCare phone which allows you to back up your iPhone easier than with iTunes and fix it with the built-in iOS system repair if it gets broken. Check the program out in the link below. So naturally I didn't want to make a video about this because the person that is doing this project right now is not having quite a lot of experience in the field. So I decided to let it be and I decided to wait to see what's going on. But anyways, a lot of you are asking me to cover this and explain what is going on. So there you go. Now if you remember, this vulnerability has been posted by Kudima and Externalist has said that quote, Kudima submitted another WebKit RCE or remote code execution exploit to the repository. He wrote the entire exploit along with a very detailed annotation which works up to iOS 12.0.1. Thanks again to Kudima for the contribution. So this is pretty much a WebKit exploit that works on iOS 12.0.1 and lower. So this can definitely be used in a jailbreak context. And you can find it in here if you want to check it out and understand more about how it works. There is the write-up and then there is the code. Now, this guy here called Ucurrent Software has actually started building on top of that exploit that has been released. So he made this project in here called Jailbreak Me Unified, which is available at racecondition.win. So if you go ahead in here on the uh, readme, it says, quote, iOS 8.4.1 all the way up to iOS 12.0.1 on 64-bit and iOS 3.1.2 all the way up to iOS 9.3.4 on 32-bit. So pretty big claims. Now, it's not like it's fake or something like that. It's being built and is currently in development. But the reason I didn't want to make a video about this until it was, uh, you know, more advanced is because the person that is building this, this guy in here, although he knows how to code and quite well, and he actually found vulnerabilities before in the iOS, he is new to jailbreak development. So it's definitely a challenge for him. And I didn't want a lot of people to go ahead and nag him and whatever. So yeah, he posted quite a lot of information information here, including some screenshots of his um, work, you know, getting various addresses, leaking various information and so on. But if you want to check out the project itself, you can, because as I said, this is available at racecondition.win. And if you access that from your Safari, you're going to get this in here, which is called Jailbreak Me Unified, which wants to be pretty much a jailbreak for all those versions mentioned. And you would pretty much have to slide this in here and jailbreak your device. Now the interface looks okay and he's working on it. And another good point of this jailbreak that is being created is the fact that it's open source. So if you want to check out the code and see exactly what you're running, the code is available in here and you can check out any single thing that has been added and anything that, you know, that is pretty much being part of the uh, jailbreak itself. Now, this is nowhere near a complete jailbreak. At this point, I think it only runs the exploits and it does some stuff in the background. So it's going to be a long time before this is going to be a ready jailbreak, especially since he's targeting quite a lot of versions in here, but it's definitely challenging. And I think he realized at some point that this is challenging since just a few days ago, he posted this FAQ in here, which clarifies the fact that this is a framework for a web-based jailbreak not a jailbreak itself, it's unfinished and it works on iOS 11.3.1 apparently. And he also talks about offsets that are missing and you can report them or you can add them yourself. So yeah, I've been asked by a lot of people whether this is fake or not. It's not fake, but it's definitely not complete. It's definitely not a jailbreak you can use right now to get Cydia running. And it's a good start, don't get me wrong. It's a good start, it's the first thing that we see for iOS 12. And it's definitely a good idea to watch its progress and see exactly what is going on. Just don't get hyped for the moment because it may take a long time before this is going to be a ready to use jailbreak, if ever. But yeah, he's trying and I have to give him that. He's definitely trying and he seems to have control of the situation for the moment. We're going to see what he creates at the end. But anyways, time will tell. However, if you come across it and probably you will because a lot of people sent me the links to it, especially since the interface looks like it's almost complete complete, although it's not. Um, if you come across it on racecondition.win, do not use it because it's not a jailbreak that works on iOS 12.0.1. Even though it states that in there, this is not complete. And although this is definitely a good start, it may take a while before you can use this. Anyways, as I said, this is definitely progress, especially since this is the first project that takes advantage of any of the released exploits. But till the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I will keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. I'm Geos now. Peace out.